Hey guys, um, I'm over here looking like Felicia all Friday. <laughs> As y'all saw, my boo came um, to Atlanta. We really have been taking like the initiative to make time for each other, although we are states away, baby. We are states away. It's just like, I love that we are prioritizing this connection. It's so wild to me because I, I haven't felt this way in a very long time. Y'all know I've been saying like, this dating pool is trash. This shit got piss in it. To finally receive what I've been like wanting for so long, it's just like, phew is pushing me to like you know choose to do better and be better and work on my ways to keep this connection i'll be visiting his family in a week or so <laughs> what the hell sometimes i could get kind of nervous when like i gotta meet a bunch of new people all at once i just ah hermit shell hermit 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 but it's like i hate when people get the hermit version of me because i am so much bigger than that like i have a fat ass personality um and i feel like a lot of people probably don't get to see that because i i like to slowly open up to people unless there is like my spirit loves you <laughs> I'm gonna be big off rip, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I took a week off of work because why the hell not? Oh my God, in the week I took off, why is it gonna be raining all week, please? So this is what I use to moisturize my body. It smells so yummy. It's a black owned brand and y'all see, I barely got anything left. a few days ago i just put them in these felicia braids child didn't want my hair to like be too puffy at the roots since i'm not retwisting it so anyways i'm about to take these out let me grab some scissors first today i want to really enjoy my alone time i am now in like a serious relationship this is like new for me. I am very much a me time girly. Let me just cut all the ends of the rubber bands off. But if y'all know, y'all know I've been single for a little while, but I've been dating of course, because why not? I always prioritize and tell people to prioritize themselves over everything. Um, that is huge. That's major. That's the key to life. I wouldn't say it's been hard giving up like my time with myself, but I do feel as though my me time has been pushed aside a little bit more. Now it's like I have to learn balance. I also have to make sure my partner feels like they are being a priority as well. So yeah, I told um, my partner that you know i need me days i need days to listen to my own thoughts i need days to sit with myself and not always have a conversation with him i find that a lot of women tend to lose themselves in their relationships and i know it's, it might not only be women who do this but women are more prone to putting themselves on the back burner when it comes to other people and I don't want that for myself. <laughs> um, I want to have a good grip on my own independence and I love being with myself so I don't want to lose that relationship. So I had to set a boundary and like say look like 
we talk a lot you know what i'm saying me and my partner we talk all the time because for one we're in a long distance relationship two we don't really have those moments together like how we would if he were living in atlanta we want those personal moments that we miss out on these look so good Ooh, i should have kept these in for when i go to meet his parents don't get lost in the sauce talk to yourself listen to yourself and your intuition and your gut don't lose your gut feeling because you are so busy being stimulated by outside sources you know what i'm saying and yesterday i did a tarot card pull and i got the hermit and the hermit it really symbolizes that you know you need time with yourself it was funny that i got that card because i've been feeling like that i haven't been journaling or having morning conversations i love waking up and just talking with myself y'all like anyways let me finish taking out these braids we're almost done they look really good and that's another thing i love about braiding my hair down after washing it because normally when i wash my hair my roots be like poof they just like they just be od so it kind of contains the the frizziness at the roots when you do this this was a really good braid out which i think i'm gonna just lay my edges because oh child i don't know i'm not actually feeling my hair anymore crazy huh um yeah that's typically what happens with me I changed my outfit. <laughs> Don't mind the clothes on the couch. I was organizing so I can hang them up. I just put on this chill little like kind of knit. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Everything will be linked in like my Amazon storefront. So make sure y'all check in the description box. This woven bag from Shein. These mom jeans I got. Where did I get these from? I don't even know and then i got my birkenstocks i just throw on some hoop earrings i have my loj necklaces yeah these are super cute so check them out <laughs> Hey guys so i just left the coffee plant shop i don't really feel that present with myself i either need to sit my ass at the park <laughs> and relax oh i should have brought my journal like why did i not bring these things with me maybe that means i should stop at target ah i go get me a new journal i haven't finished writing in my current journal i have a few pages left but maybe this is like a new chapter. A new chapter that I'm writing. I love like, I don't know about y'all, but I love like randomly flipping to a page and seeing what page the universe wants me to read back on. And I'm always so like just shocked and amazed at my growth. And it's just funny looking back at the things that I was going through and how I was processing it. And I just love that shit for myself. Like, <laughs> that's why I really do love journaling because you can always go back and just look and see how far you've came. So let's see if a Target is nearby. Uh -huh.
guys send help oh this is kind of cute oh i love these little poofs super cute i like this hmm. i do need a rug for the front of my entry wait Before I got so good at being alone, I used to struggle with setting boundaries, my self-confidence, finding comfort in things to do with just myself. I thought spending time with myself, like going on walks or dinner at my favorite restaurant, solo traveling, was a bit weird and it felt super uncomfortable. But that's because I didn't really deep dive into who I really am. I felt like everyone was judging me, but really, everything was all in my head. I've realized that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with myself, so I better get to know her. I started off pretty small, taking myself on walks, picnics. The more I spent time alone, I realized I could do what I want, when I want, for however long I wanted, and I could really just move slowly, explore, and not feel pressure from others. Prioritizing myself became almost like second nature. I learned that the more I filled my cup, the more I could give to those that I loved. And when I felt drained, because yes, that happens sometimes, I make it a priority to say no to the things that I don't want to do. I began dating and loving myself the way I would want someone else to love me. And it has taught me that everything that I need already exists inside of me. And I love being alone. Make sure to spend some time with yourself. Take a moment to slow down from outside sources and do some meditation. Plan something nice for yourself. Take yourself on that trip. Get that massage. Find out why you do certain things. Heal that inner child and you will soon watch yourself blossom. I hope you all have an amazing day and I wish you all the best of luck on your self-love and healing journey. Mwah! <laughs>
I got this brown dress, spaghetti strap dress. It's pretty long and it has a little slit. This is kind of like a rib knit. So let's try it on. Okay, so I got this in a size extra small, but it's really not even that like fitted. As y'all can see, it's very loose and normally an extra small will fit me very, very snug. It's given real casual, nothing major. I like that it has a slit on the side of my tattoo. The bikini bottom has these OD long straps. I might end up just cutting it. It's cute. Like I like the color. I don't know if y'all can see. It's like a light purple. I like how it fits my body. Hey guys, so I decided to order some Chi Chi's vegan and clearly I've been digging in already, but I ordered some falafel tzatziki tacos. These are super yummy. I love the onions. Matter of fact, <laughs> give me that. This right here is my favorite. This is the Crunchwrap Supreme. I ordered a peach something. I don't know what this is, but it is so good. And this is my first time having it. This one is a little sloppy. I would say good morning, but it's literally 4 p.m. So I had a very slow start to my morning. Um, don't mind my edges. I'm currently editing a vlog. This vlog will probably already be up, so check it out after this one, of course. I've really been in the phase of finding balance between flow and action. So I am a very action-based person. I'm a very solution-based person. I love formulating plans to getting shit done. Like my camera started to fall. Don't do that again. Um, I've kind of been in a flow state because I've been working so hard to get to where I am now. I'm like, holy shit, I could really just lay back and chill for some months. I'm in a state where I have to, I guess, understand that I can enjoy the fruits of my labor. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's hard for me to do that because growing up, I didn't really have everything. I didn't have a lot growing up, so to have what I have now. It's hard for me to just sit down with it and be like, oh, this is great where you are now. I'm always wanting to do more. I'm always like, no, 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 we can't stop. We have to keep going. We can't stop. We have to keep going. Come on, new plan, new goals, new this, new that. I just had a moment where I was like, you know what? It's okay to sit. It's okay to not do anything. It's okay to spend a little bit of money on yourself, a little bit more than you would usually spend um because you've worked so hard so i guess i'm just saying like i'm in a space where i really want to create something new but i also want to sit with myself and enjoy the fruits of my labor okay so there's a new moon coming up and i know i got super close to the camera but yeah there's a new moon coming up and i believe it's in the sign of gemini i feel like this is the perfect time to do a vision board and <laughs> Y'all, this is beyond wild. So I have my vision board on my phone. 
as my lock screen and this is like my relationship visit vision board and it was like travel making money together i don't chase i attract consistency vulnerability you know marriage monogamy and just some like quotes and stuff and it was just so wild to me because the person i'm with literally said one of the quotes and i was like bro what the hell is this and like everything just aligned so perfectly and i had made a vision board about my career and like what the hell would what, what i put on there has happened in the span of like three months so much had happened for me business wise i'm going to show you all in this vlog how i create my vision boards it's the sixth month so we're halfway through the year you know time to look back at our goals that we had set in december or you know earlier this year and see how far we've come see what we've checked off just readjust maybe things have shifted maybe we don't want those old things we thought we wanted um maybe we want to add some goals that scare us a little bit just to like test our faith like long but i wanted to get sexy Hey guys, so I just got a package in the mail and yeah, let's go pick it up, I guess. Every single one's in the net, right? I don't wish. Hey guys, so I've been feeling a little, what's going on? What is that? I've been feeling a little like just overstimulated, overwhelmed. This one lash keep just coming down. I want to pull it off, but this one kind of hurts to pull off. Anyways, I'm supposed to be filming content today, but it looks like it is going to be cloudy. I'm going to go for a walk just to clear my head and come back and film content. Hopefully some sun peeks through so I can get some stuff done. So, Mwah. bye guys. <laughs> Hey right, guys, so I just got back from my walk. It was pretty chill. It was a quick little walk. Ooh, ooh. Hey y'all. So I just finished filming this hairstyle for Instagram. I was gonna make it a YouTube video, but no. I am tired. So this is the style. It's like a slick back with like four retwisted rows pulled back straight like that and some little hair charms so if y'all want to check out that video go head over to my instagram at the real 2.0 my only page um aside from like my hair 
Crown by Cole and Nima Naturals. But right now I'm just going through like all the footage and I'm going through the, the pictures that I just took. I'm not feeling like super photogenic today. I don't know what it is, but I'm not liking these pictures. Y'all can even see. Like, I'm not really feeling these pictures. The video will be posted. It's probably gonna be up before this video goes out. I will see you guys in my next vlog. I hope you all enjoy. Dangerous, been so lost without you all around me.